grew up Egyptian, but he's of Hebrew descent. So Exodus doesn't really give us a lot of information on his youth, but in the New Testament, in the book of Acts, chapter 7, verse 22, it says that Moses was educated in all the wisdom of the Egyptians. So grew up Egyptian of Hebrew descent. As an adult, he sees an Egyptian beating a Hebrew and he interjects. He fights off the Egyptian, ultimately killing the Egyptian. So the very next day, Moses sees two Hebrews fighting and he says, hey, why are you hurting your own people? And they say, oh, are you going to kill us like you killed the Egyptian? what you would like this seriously think about this you would think that the israelites would say hey moses is on our side moses just went to their defense he saw one of them being mistreated by an egyptian and he went to their defense but apparently his loyalty is not reciprocated because word is out people are talking um that moses killed this egyptian so pharaoh seeks to kill moses now he can't go with his Hebrew side, and he can't go with his Egyptian side. You know what's mind-blowing to me is that the very people Moses tried to help turned on him. They narked on him. They fought with him. I'm going to read Acts chapter 7, verse 25. It says, Moses thought that his own people would realize that God was using him to rescue them, but they did not. Guess what? Moses flees to a land called Midian for 40 years. So who's really at a loss here? It's the Israelites. They literally could have been delivered had they realized God was using Moses to rescue them. But instead, they turned on him and they end up staying in oppression for 40 years. And let's just pause. I'm going to take a pause in this story because it kind of brings me to uh, something personal or maybe you're going through this, like in your life. Is there someone in your life right now trying to help you, yet you push them away? Now, I can say I've been on both sides of the coin, like I've pushed people away, and I've been the one that's been pushed away. Um, but it's, it's wild that the very people that you try to help are the ones that fight with you the most. Which brings me to kind of a personal story that I'm currently going through. And if it goes out to the church, it goes out to you Christians and us followers of Jesus. I think we're all guilty of this. Why do you fight with your own people? I'm literally spending countless hours <laughs> creating these presentations to help build the kingdom of God and the people that fight with me the most are often other Christians. And that is very frustrating because we can see it here right now that God is going to use Moses or use people to save and shepherd his own people. I'm going to read Acts chapter 7 verse 25 in case you missed the message. It says, Moses thought his own people would realize that God was using him to rescue them, but they did not see it. Interesting. If you're watching this, my message is no one is beyond the reach of God. Like God is greater. So don't let the church determine your relationship with God. Don't let other Christians determine your relationship with God. Remember, Jesus said, follow him. He didn't say follow other Christians. He said, follow him.